part two. We are now at the Emirates Stadium, built in 2006. And you can see this bridge over to the actual stadium itself has uh, many of the past heroes who played at Highbury, including my personal hero, the one and only Mr. Dennis Burkamp, the Dutch maestro. Ian Wright, his mate next door. Old Captain Frank McClintock. We've got Vieira. Master Thierry Henry. And um, in the distance you can see the clock. That was the original clock at Highbury. Which is why it's known as the clock end, of course. And uh, remember, Highbury sat 38,000 in the Emirates Stadium seats of 60,000. So we're just going to go up to the stadium and show a few of the statues here to um, some of the heroes, some of the important people in Arsenal's um, history. It's a beautiful stadium. I come here regularly. You can see they've built luxury apartments nearby. In the distance is a statue of the man who really made Arsenal great, Herbert Chapman, 1930s. There's Dennis again. Now behind Dennis, it says Fabregas, and really, you know, I don't know why he's still here, why he's up there. He plays for Chelsea now. We don't need him. We don't need him here. Vicesk, you were great. But you're a traitor. Okay. Over there, some more, some more heroes: Vieira, Lee Dixon, Martin Keown, Georgie Armstrong, Ian Wright, David Jack. You can see the back of uh, Herbert Chapman. There he is, Herbert Chapman, really the founding father of Arsenal. He was here from 1925 to 1934, the first of the great managers. Okay, let me take you round to the stadium, show you a few other statues. I'm also very proud and very mindful that my uh, my grandfather actually played for Arsenal, Joe Fordham, a long, long time ago. But uh, the family are very proud of this fact. Oh, if I could live in one of these apartments, uh, right next to the stadium. So a cold play here a couple of years ago too. So they use it not only for football, but for concerts as well. Just pad over here. Great character, great Arsenal character. Very much a fan too. The irrepressible showman, as it says there, Mr. Ian Wright. This is the entrance I usually go in, M. Usually sit in the upper tier, in the old clock end. You're not going to be able to go in today like we did at, um, at Highbury. I do tours here, of course, so if you're ever in London you want to tour the great club, you can. As it says here, the home of football. There's a really great picture here, spanning um, the time at Highbury. 1913 to 2006, goes from black and white to colour. Something I think you might like to see. Stands beside the statue of Thierry Henry. Okay, so. Let's have a look up here. Mid Seaman, Tom Jake. 
Rocky Row Castle. Tragic that he died so young. And now, the spirit of Highbury. Starts from 1913 all the way up to when we left the Emirates 2006. So just walked home. Arsene Wenger, of course, suited by Thierry Henry, Patrick Bial, Robert Pirazet, Dennis Bergkamp, Sol Campbell, Ashley Cole, Robin Van Per Strings. Great man. Thierry Henry. Fantastic set From 1999 to 2007. This, actually, this pose was actually when he scored against Tottenham. Ran the full length of the pitch to score. Right, Thierry. Can I show you one more statue? My personal hero. The legend that is Dennis Bergkamp. The master DB10 Dennis Bergkamp. His testimonial was the first match at uh, the new Emirates Stadium. Well deserving. Gave everyone a t shirt that day. On the back of the seat, there was a t shirt with love from Dennis. Okay, so thank you, Dennis. One more thing on this tour. battery. I'm just going to go down, show you the, the uh, shop, the armory. Okay. So many people come, honestly, from all over the world. And I've brought my students here from Italy. I love it. Okay, there's the two cannons. Arsenal shop. You see many memorials, many plaques. And here, maybe some Arsenal fans, Arsenal players of the uh, future. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, trip to the old stadium and the new stadium in our uh, FA Cup winning year of 2015. Well, we hope.